So now that we've talked about creating a theme, styling it, adding some JavaScript to it, we also want to talk about configuring the theme within LifeRay. So there are a couple of theme settings and packages, and the theme can be configured to include the following settings and packages. First, there's the theme settings, and these are hard-coded or configurable values in the theme that can give administrators functional control over different stylistic elements of a site. And so you might have some different dropdowns to select options from or sliders to toggle on and off. Then you have portlet decorators, which is a mechanism that allows developers to customize the styles of the portlet wrappers. You'll have color schemes, and this is variations of SCSS and images packaged in the same theme administrators can choose for sites or specific site pages. And finally, we also have bundled layout templates, and these are layout templates that can be created and bundled into the theme to ensure that the entire design implementation is included. And we'll be talking about each of these shortly. So we can add configurable theme settings. The fact that it's configurable means that a value of true or false determines whether the field should be displayed or hidden from the control panel. We can use a key, the name used to retrieve a user value in the theme. So this will have no spaces. It will also have a type, which defines the type of form to show. So we might have text, text area, select, or checkbox. And then theme settings also have options, uh, which is a comma separated list of options that the user can choose for the select type. And finally, there is also a value, a default setting value for configurable settings. Now we can also provide custom portlet decorators and the portlet decorator tag accepts the following properties. First, the portlet decorator CSS class, and this includes the CSS class that can be used in the portlet decorator partial to add custom CSS. And then you have the default portlet decorator. And if this is set to true, the decorator will be the default for all portlets where the theme is applied. We can also include color scheme variations. So to add and include color scheme variations, you'll have to add a color schemes folder in the source CSS directory, including color scheme CSS partials, such as custom SCSS. Then we'll add a color schemes folder in source images, including a folder for each color scheme with any thumbnail or image sprites included. And then we'll also include the color schemes in the life ray look and feel XML, and that's displayed below. You can pause this and uh, observe this too. And finally, we have bundling layout template models. To add a custom layout template into the theme, you need to add a layout TPL folder in the theme source that includes your layout source file and thumbnail. And then you also need to update the life ray look and feel XML to reference those files. And below is an example of what that would look like if you were to reference it in the XML file. Mm -hmm.